Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Jim Jordan just dropped the hammer on the Biden administration during this impeachment inquiry. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. You know, Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, the Biden administration, they say they have no, you know, the Republicans have no evidence to go forward with this impeachment inquiry. But Jim Jordan says not so. In a recent interview with Fox News host Maria Bartiromo, he actually laid out the smoking gun on this whole impeachment inquiry and on what he says is, you know, the Biden family influence peddling scheme. Now, I'm not a legal expert. I, I don't know what's happening. I haven't seen the evidence that would bring me to that conclusion, but I've seen a lot of evidence that I think raises a lot of smoke. And where there's smoke, there's fire. I want you to listen to what Mr. Jordan had to say and then let me know what you think when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Check for three and a half million dollars to the Biden clan? Yep, yep. Part of this real estate inv investment uh, 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 entity that they were uh, working on together. Um, but she, in fact, did that. I mean, and that's the big picture. You know what? You played the clip from Hunter Biden. He said baseless inquiry. We got millions of dollars from foreign entities flowing through 20 different companies for what? What was the service? What were they selling? What were they offering? And Devin Archer, Hunter Biden's business partner, told us in his deposition it was for access to the brand and the brand was Joe Biden, the brand who played rounds of golf, took phone calls and meetings, attended lunches and dinners with Hunter Biden and his business associates, the brand who conditioned $1 billion of American tax money on the firing of the prosecutor who was investigating the company Hunter Biden set on the on the board of and was receiving a million dollars a year. That's, that's what we're talking about here. So this idea that it's baseless is just ridiculous. The country can see what was going on here. And Mr. Bobolinsky, Mr. Galanis will talk about when Joe Biden showed up and when Joe Biden was actually involved in these things, that's what we're going to hear today. And the contradictions of when Hunter Biden testified under oath, what he said versus what all his partners, who he no longer has any relationship with, what they said under oath. So, so that's a policy decision. Get the former prosecutor in Ukraine fired. You're saying you believe Joe Biden and his family was paid for making that policy decision to go against the Ukraine prosecutor. Is that one? I'm trying to connect well, the dots of if they did anything that is actual well, policy that affects more than just the family, the, the country. And is he getting paid for that? The State Department had sent the prosecutor a letter saying you're doing a good job just a few months before Joe Biden goes over there and conditions the release on the money of the money on the firing of that same prosecutor. That prosecutor was actually looking into Burisma and uh, Zolachevsky, the CEO of that Ukrainian energy company. The one before him allowed him to have $23 million that had been seized, allowed him to have it back. The one after him uh, uh, dropped the charges. So the one in the middle who's actually doing the investigation, that's the one who gets fired. And oh, by the way, the State Department, as well as the Interagency Policy Committee, all said, don't fire the guy. Focus on, uh, uh, excuse me, don't condition the release of the money on the firing of the guy. But Joe Biden makes a game time decision. He calls an audible on the flight over. And it was right after he got a call from his son, according to Devin Archer saying, hey, we need relief from this pressure we're getting from the prosecutor. I think that's pretty important facts. R remember this too, Maria. Hunter Biden gets put on the board of Burisma, gets paid a million dollars a year. Hunter Biden wasn't qualified. He told us that in an interview he did. He said himself he wasn't qualified. Uh, Hunter Biden gets asked by Zolachevsky to relieve the pressure there under. Four days later, Joe Biden flies to Ukraine and conditions the release of the tax dollars on the firing of the prosecutor applying the pressure. Those facts are fundamental. They've yeah. never changed. So that to me is the key. When you when you couple it with all the other information we have, that's what was going on here. Uh,